this week out of failure after Spain's election result. The president of the EPP should step down out of shame. Our union, our union condemns judicial abuse in Azerbaijan. But when Romania's president tells the courts to cut compensation payments to save the state money, the EPP, of which he is a member, says nothing. We condemn insidious legal change in Russia. But when Berlusconi made false accounting no longer a criminal offence, the EPP stayed silent. The EU calls for fair elections in Belarus. <coughs> But when Hungary's government changes the constitution to need a two-thirds majority to oust Viktor Orban, Europe's largest party not only cheered, in the European Parliament they gave him a standing ovation. I remind them of the words of their own Conrad Adenauer. God placed limits on man's reason, but not on his stupidity. <laughs> It's important that we become smarter in the way we campaign. You know, many people find political parties like dinosaurs these days. We have not moved with the times. So we have to re-engage with people and show them that political parties are the agents for change. The second thing we have to do is we have to grow the party to bring in others with whom we can ally successfully to build a strong center against the ravages of populism. And the third thing is to be truly supranational, because people know these days that no country is an island. You cannot pull the blanket over your head and wish the world would go away. We need to act together.